TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right above me, if I feel the need to, I will put the highlights to the Twitch stream if you miss it on here. Um, don't forget, we do also have Patreon. We post Monday through Friday, man. I got a double upload today because a holiday is coming up, so you'll get a double upload today and tomorrow. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> and we got... Uh, Merch, you get me. Ben Dean. The link to all of that is in the description. Ben Dean is another Chicago land area guy. I don't know exactly where, but he gives me north suburb guy, uh, vibes. Y'all ain't gonna tell me I had something on my shirt. That's crazy. Uh, but you know, he puts you on all the good food and all the bad food. And he's been in the UK for the last two weeks, living my best life. And I've been hating. I ain't watched a single video. It's the first one, though, I'm finna watch, man. Ben, ben you've been over there two, three weeks or however long. And it's the first time. I just can't, man. I can't, because I'm gonna be there next year doing everything you doing. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> American tries a hundred dollars worth of British takeout. British Chinese take a hundred dollars. Dang. What's up, y'all? So hundred dollars of Chinese takeout in Florida. First of all, Chinese food in Florida, disgusting. Don't order out in Florida. Don't don't do it here. Oh, one of the most requested videos that I do while I'm over here is a Chinese takeaway, a, a cheeky one. And there was a feud a while back, actually. Chinese takeaway in Britain versus, you know, American style Chinese takeout. And it became this thing. I don't know. There's, let me just tell you, there's some weird things. What's the difference? Things in this order. This is $100 worth of Chinese takeaway. And I got 10 or 11 things. And we got the whole list straight. You got 10 or 11 things with $100? That alone is the biggest difference. You're getting like four items in Florida and then four maybe nasty items on top of that. Here, um, But let me tell you what, it was kind of difficult to match up to $100. It wasn't hard getting to the mark. I actually had to, to erase some things that I wanted to get. Um, but I, was, I just didn't want to go over the budget here. I didn't want to go too crazy. Let me tell you what, right off the bat, this bag... This is the biggest uh, Chinese takeout, takeaway bag I've ever seen in my life. Let me just set this up real quick and I'll show you what I'm working with. The containers are different. Regular, you know, cardboard containers here. And we also have just plastic containers like this. All right, here's everything out on the table. Hold on, hold on, Dean, hold on. Okay, I don't know what some of this is. Oh, this is going to be leftovers for days. This is insane. Um, oh, geez. There might be some things that you recognize. Might be some things that you don't recognize. I tried to get a little bit of a mixer so I could, you know, try some things. Did he get chips and gravy? Is that chips and curry sauce? Things I've never heard about and try some things that I do know about so I can compare and contrast it. So, wow, dude, just... Wow, all right. Right off the bat, we have crispy aromatic duck. I got a quarter serving. Here's the duck. It comes with these little pancake wrappers that you can wrap. Never had it from a Chinese spot, never. Oh, yes, I have. In Chinatown, in, 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 in Chicago, yes, I have. Wrap them up with, along with this stuff. Looks like cucumbers and maybe green onion shavings. And to top that off, we have some kind of maybe hoisin sauce. Next up, we got Ooh. sweet and sour chicken balls. These things are huge. I was really debating whether I should get sweet and sour chicken or sweet and sour chicken balls, and I decided balls. You saying that ball word too? Huh? To go with the balls, although they're not really shaped like balls, but Ben. Well. Mm. 
There are 10 of them in that bag and the sweet and sour sauce is right over here. Next up, one big ass crispy spring roll. That is the largest spring roll I've ever seen in my damn life. Um, we also got a plain main, AKA plain chow main. Here's my other kind of starchy carb. We got egg fried rice. And I mean, we're talking like large so amounts. Both this and I believe the chow mein both came in large sizes. And the only options for sizes were large. So next up, chicken and sweet corn soup. That looks pretty good actually. I didn't know what to think about it. I've never heard of sweet corn soup at a Chinese restaurant, but it looks like egg drop soup. So it look good though, for sure. That I'm used to. This I've never heard of. They call this a deep fried shredded beef, but it looks absolutely fire to be honest with you. And we had to get some spare ribs. That's the one thing that I heard from multiple people. That's sitting over here, but I'll be honest, I was expecting Skippy. something a little bit different. I wasn't expecting all the vegetables mixed in. These are salt and chili spare ribs. I heard a lot about salt and pepper ribs, and originally I was thinking salt and pepper as in like the seasonings of salt and pepper, but maybe it's the same thing. And when they say salt and pepper, it's like salt and like chili peppers, so salt and chilies. Um, I'm not really sure, but that'll be interesting to investigate. Never had ribs at a Chinese place, I don't think. Next up, we have prawn toast. Never seen this, never heard about never it. Never heard of it. And I think it's uh, actually deep fried, so there's some kind of prawn and sesame. Leave it to the UK to make, uh, uh, put toast in a Chinese takeaway somehow. Y'all always eating toast, even in y'all Chinese takeaway. That's tough. It look good, though. Seeds on there, and then they like deep fried or something. I, Beats me, man. I have really no idea what to expect with that. And then last but not least, what the f chips with curry sauce? That's right. At a Chinese restaurant, this is a, a staple. At that's that's so that's where it comes from. Is the Chinese takeaway spot the best way to get that? I've had this before. On if y'all don't follow me on TikTok, you know what I'm saying. I got eighty thousand people over there on TikTok. I be trying y'all food a lot. But I've had this for sure. It's good. Chinese restaurants over here. Chips or fries with curry sauce. We also have these prawn crackers. These were a free add-on. Usually they were like four bucks or something, but if you spend over 15 pounds, they give you a free add-on to these. They have snacks similar to this in Korea. Um, so I, I think I know what these taste like. No fortune cookie. I think this is what you get instead. So pretty good little selection here. I know there's gonna be people saying, oh, you should have got that, or you shouldn't have gotten that, or whatever, but it is what it is. This place has 188 food items on it. So a very vast menu, I can't get everything. Banana That's why fritter. I had to set a limit. They also give me four spoons and four forks. All the Little do they know, but I've been from the taste all of this. Ben, might, ben was talking crazy, like, oh, I might not left over for days, but. I feel, I, I feel confident that you might could get through this. So, zero chopsticks. So, I don't know what to do. Let's start with the chow mein here. Short noodles. Very short. Convenient. Going in. Okay. It's good. It is. <laughs> Talk to me. Here's our chow mein. It's good. This is one of those that I expected to basically taste like something that I'm familiar with. Same flavor. It's good though. Don't get me wrong. It's oh. mighty fine. It's hot. It's flavorful. Just the right amount of MSG. You know when Ben get to talking like, mm-hmm, yep. Yeah. You know it's fire if y'all watch Ben. They're really hitting. Really hitting this. When I was overly fat, I used to watch Ben and then go order food. So I partially blamed Ben for my weight when I was heavier, 30 pounds ago. But see, I don't watch Ben that much no more because he's been out there. So I've been falling back and I lost 30 pounds when I didn't watch Ben. Ben, it's your fault, Gango. Spot. That's that's really good. That's a, that's really good. How much was that? Seven pounds sixty. Seven good pounds. stuff though, and a good amount. It don't look dry. A lot of chow mein be living. So dry. far, so good. Let me go ahead and try. No, bro, go chips and curry mix, man. It's getting soggy. Try one of these salt and pepper ribs here, or salt and chili ribs. So they cut them into these little little guys here. 
It's a short rib. I'm looking for tenderness. I'm looking for flavorfulness. But um, I'll be honest, I'm almost looking for the texture. I know it's going to be pretty good, tasty, uh, but I hope it's not too chewy or, you know, whatever. Go on in. Yo. <laughs> I hit. That's a real nice texture. They, I'll, I'll just say, they should have this on American Chinese food restaurant menus. Maybe they do. To be fair, I haven't had a Chinese food in America for over 10 years. I've had it a few times in Korea, and I've had a lot of Korean-style Chinese food. And so maybe, you know, I was just stuck when I was in America and able to eat Chinese food in America only ordering the same things. I would get stuff like orange chicken. That's because you're from Chicago, Chicagoland area. That's all we really be getting from the Chinese spot. Orange chicken, egg roll, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What else we be getting? When We might get some, um, what is that? Egg foo young. Uh, definitely getting shrimp fried rice. Um... Crab Rangoons, like you, you used to that. I know you used to that. Wontons. Wonton, yeah. Down to the bone. That's Fried rice, of course. Um, we'd get an egg drop soup. But yeah, I don't know if I've ever even seen ribs, but I'm, I'm for damn sure. If I did, we never ordered them. So first time trying ribs, nice experience. Um, one thing I will say though is that I would have almost liked to see this one served up like the crispy beef without with less of the vegetables, you know what I mean? There's a lot of vegetables in there. And the fact that these have bones in them, so if they're boneless, that's one thing. You can just, you know, grab them and go. But the fact that they do have bones, it's like some parts will be taken out and eaten with their hands and then other, like the vegetable parts, can be going back to a fork. Really nice flavor. This dish right here tastes a little bit more Chinese than the flavors that you would get in an American Chinese restaurant. Okay. And that comes from pure ignorance because I've never actually been to China, but it just has, <laughs> it, it just has, you know what I mean. Maybe you don't. Uh, you that don't being said, like what that. is going on here? Soggy now. Curry bro. chips. It's hidden. <laughs> What's going on with these, man? It's still hit. Don't get me wrong. You just hit about 19 of them, Ben. I really do like the combo. It was good when I had them, but it was crispy. And dare I say, these are better curry chips than the curry chips I had when I got the fish and chips. That was a little bit different. I had to dip the chips into the curry sauce. And this is just one amalgam, so I can just kind of go in. You're almost done, G. Slow down. The curry, to me, it's an indistinct uh, curry flavor. Flavor. It doesn't taste like Indian curry or Thai curry or Japanese curry, whatever. You know, no, just like a sweeter, curry. Right? You know. It's a little sweeter. Thin. Not spicy, but this is good, man. Would I ever think about ordering this when I'm ordering Chinese? Nah, never. Would I take it for free? Yeah. Would I get it myself? No. I think this would go better for me with other things. I could just eat this on its own. That's a fact. I did eat it by That's itself, good. honestly. Yeah. Zero Chinese flavor. <laughs> just a weird thing. Like, why do you have the? Because it's a money maker. They would put that on their menu because, like, people eat that a lot in the UK, huh? On Chinese restaurants, menus here. Still got a long way to go. Next up, the, uh, what is this? Deep fried yeah. shredded beef. Both. Never heard of such a thing. Let me, I'm sorry guys. I, usually I would try to give you a better like close up of everything, but we got too much going on in this video. So we got little kind of, it's, it is basically what you would think it was. I didn't know if it was going to be tossed in a, uh, like a sauce. It looked but like it it's about to that get stuck is. in your teeth or something. It appears to be crispy. 
Bro, bite it, Dean. Pause. Hmm. Talk to us. Okay. I think I need a few bites of this to really figure it out. You need to... Are you staying in an Airbnb bin? Like, go get a real nut fork. What are you eating with? Is that a wooden fork? So far, just initial reaction, not as big of a fan of this as everything else so far. I'm not even going to lie. I'm all for earth. I'm all for earth and things of that nature. I'm all for substituting plastic forks with, with wooden forks. But listen, I'm trying to eat. You hear me? Give me something metal. I'm trying to get down to, to the nitty gritty of things. Like, this, this sound look like it's slowing them down. I think some of that has to do with the sauce. Also, some of it has to do with, I mean, I don't taste much, if any, beef in there at all. Is there actually beef in here? If there is, it's the thinnest hair shavings. It's mostly just fried, you know, batter in the sauce. Basically, that's kind of what I expected, but... Um, Salute for letting me know. Would never get it. I would have liked to see a little bit more beef. It is a decent sauce. It grows on me. It is quite sour. I... Bro has been trying to stab the fork through this for 20 minutes. You see this? Like, I'd be so Assuming it's kind of like the sweet and sour sauce for the chicken. Mmm. A little bit vinegary. The more I eat it, the more I actually do like it. It kind of reminds me of like, a, like buffalo wings in a weird way. It's just got that bite to it. That vinegary bite. Which at first I just wasn't expecting at all, but now it's growing on me. Bro, I'm figuring switch it out. to the next one. You having too much trouble. Not bad. Not too bad. Although I stand with my, what I said. I want more beef. But maybe the whole point is to just eat crispy, saucy things. No, spring roll time. There's an option for like something like eight mini ones or ten mini ones or just one big one. I don't know what's in it. Going in. Ben, cut it in half or something. Cut it up. This is this is not a good look right now. Oh my god. God, Ben. One big one. I don't know what's in it. Going in. Bro. <laughs> mm. Oh, so mm. proud, dude. All right. It's good. Pause. Point to American egg rolls. I don't think there are any options for meats or fillings in America. You will get definitely, definitely from even the looks of it. American. If y'all ever come here, get an egg roll from like America. Not a spring roll. Get you an egg roll, a shrimp fry, a shrimp egg roll, or something. This is going to hit. Uh, you know, I'll give me a, you know, pork egg roll. Or pork. Give me some meat up in that. I haven't had one of those in so long. They don't have them in Korea. I'll just give it a little dip. What's in it? Hair? Mostly what I'm getting inside is bean sprouts. I go to a restaurant and they don't have any uh, meat in the egg roll. I'm like disgusted. Like, what do you? I don't want this thing. <laughs> it's not something I'm here for. I want, you know what I'm saying? Pause. Don't get me wrong. I like bean sprouts as much as the next guy, but um, nah, yeah. American egg rolls over these any day. Try some soup. Chicken and sweet corn soup. Very. That thick. looks promising. I like the look of it. I can kind of see some 
strands and shreds of chicken in there, some corn. There was some egg in there. Was it good? Egg? Mmm. Yeah. It's getting hot in here. This warms you up real, real quick. This soup, it's so thick, it's like a porridge almost. It tastes like a really thick corn chowder, corn soup type of deal. I'm not getting any Chinese flavors or anything out of it. There's a good bit of chicken there. Puts a warm sensation mm. over your body. Nothing wrong with it. How much was that? Six pounds 30, so. Not worth it. If I were to go back, I wouldn't get this soup again. They had other various soups as well. I like a simple egg drop soup, which I didn't see on the menu, but I do love an egg drop soup. And that's all I really need. This tastes like something that I would want to eat when I have a cold, when I'm kind of sick. Anyway, moving on. Shrimp toast. What is this? Honestly, I think? this is what I've been waiting on. This originated in Hong Kong, maybe. And you can see maybe some of those sesame seeds on there. It's, yeah, like I said, I think the whole what thing is just deep fried, but there might be different methods to it. You can smell a little bit of the shrimp coming off of it. And yeah, basically we got pork over here. We got, well, beef over here. We got seafood, kind of, shrimp. We got chicken and we got duck. We're, we're basically covering all the categories with prawn toast to one. Hmm. Different, right? There's one thing the Brits do well is toast. Toast with anything is great. If you like prawns and you like grilled cheese, you'd love this. Oh, it's cheese? I love me a grilled cheese sandwich. And I don't, it almost feels like there is cheese in here for some reason. Maybe just because the texture reminds you of a grilled cheese, or as you would call it over here, a toasty, probably. Was that right? Did he use that correctly? Toasty, yes. Yeah, toasty's a grilled cheese, right? You didn't even see that, but I mean, I don't know how they're doing it. I'm guessing they're like shredding prawns up and then that looks good. putting it. I, how did, I don't know, dude. How do they make this? But there's a lot of prawn right in there. Is that bread? Or... And it's actually quite nice. And even if you don't like prawns, you still might like that. One of those deals. It's 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 it's, it's, it's sneaky addicting. And then, like I said, I've never seen anything like this on a Chinese menu in America or Korea. Is that my laptop making that much noise? Yeah. I don't know how I can lift it up off this table to make it breathe a little better, but it is. Yeah, so. Yeah, this one, this is a good one. All right. Oh, damn. Hold on. Sorry. Um. <laughs> I look like an idiot. Edit it out, then, and I look even more. Maybe. There's some crazy construction going on, or else I would open this. No AC over here. I've mentioned that before. Big time, big time dinner. Let's try a chicken. That's crazy. His mic do a lot. Ball. Sweet and sour chicken ball. Mm. The mic. Forgot my mic was clipped on my hoodie. I apologize. <clears throat> wow. Um, where did I put that chicken ball? Here we go. That is pretty. You said a Chinese is mostly for pre-night out food or takeaway home thing after the pub. You know what's crazy? It's crazy that you say that, right? Um, so I used to go out with my boy. His name is Harold. And we started going like to go eat before we went out. Every time we would go eat, we would go eat a, uh, uh, at the Barinkin. 
In Chicago, it's on. I it's on Western and School. It's on Western and School, I think. It's called the Barinkin. We used to go there and eat a hibarito. On those nights, we were the drunkest. <laughs> Every time we went and ate before we got went out, we were the. Uh, I'm talking. We were annihilated. I'm talking like, how did we make it home? Type drunk like that's. I don't right know there. what it that's is. That's a lot of chicken on the left there. Not as much on the right there. Hold on. A lot of batter. Yeah, they yeah. always do. I'm always younger. They always do. Chicken itself is real nice. Don't forget, we're about to watch Shameless on here. Shameless is a Twitch exclusive. We're only watching it on Twitch. Nowhere else, so lock in. We won't be this late normally. We probably started off with it. I like these. I like, they're like, I almost look like mini, you know, fish and chips. Because they're battered and fried like that. Now, let me just, let me just say real quick. We got sweet and sour pork. It's, it's huge in Korea. So, and I've had my fair share of it. Now, I've said I haven't had sweet and sour sauce in America for a long time. But I almost remember that being preferable to me personally over this. Yeah, and I, I can't put a finger on why. I would say that compared to American sweet and sour, this is more sweet and sour. The Korean stuff actually isn't really sour to me. It's more just sweet. Um, but yeah, I would almost prefer, let me try this. Huh? Oh, Bob. And that's crazy because I think it's going to be one of these shows like Shameless. I th no, I ain't even going to say it. I don't want to jinx it. This really is waiting for the duck though. Let me get into that right now. I feel like duck. duck is another one of those things you gotta eat when it's hot as well. So I have had duck a few times. Uh, I've had it once now at a Chinese dry. restaurant in America and it was terrible. It was really bad. And then ever since I have never had duck at a Chinese place, I don't think, but I've had it at Korean joints. Maybe I have had it at a Chinese restaurant in Korea. I take that back. So we'll have a little bit of a reference point here. And if I'm doing this wrong, I apologize, but the, the duck meat. This is the last thing, right? He's almost done. There's nothing else. Now he's just gonna pick over it for 30 minutes. a good minutes. amount of it, although it does appear to be dry right off the first stab. But only one way to find out. You know who Ben Dean reminds me of? One Piece. He reminds me of One Piece. Yeah, he should have tried the fries first. The fries first off top. Then he should have did the bread with the prawns. Then he should have did the crispy duck. Because everything else could have sat and waited. It looked dry. It looked dry. It's a tad bit dry. <laughs> he had to fill out a gallon of water for it. Over dry. The flavor is nice. Let me just say it's nice. But the texture is definitely lacking. It's definitely dry. There's a good amount of meat in here. I wish it was just a little bit more juicy. Um, and let me just say, it should be obvious, but this doesn't represent all British Chinese food. There's gonna be some, you gotta go here. They have the better, they got the best duck even delivered. Or you gotta. One thing the British people are very adamant about is their TV shows and their food. So yes, there is probably gonna be a lot of people that come on here and are like, oh, you gotta go to this one. This is my favorite. It's the best. There's nothing like it, but. That's what comes with the territory. I think I'm done here. We we seen them eat everything, right? Except the white rice. Was 
just from it is just, just it needs a little bit more moisture i don't know if there's a trick that you could you know moisten this back up but the trick is to not let it sit until the last thing you eat then yeah you did it all man all right man well i'll be there soon when i get here the amount of different content that I'm going to be doing is crazy. I don't know how I'm going to manage all of this. Because now I do videos for TikTok. I have to do those. I still have to sit down and do food videos like this. And I have to do vlogs. And I have to do like daily in the life vlog. Like it's going to be immaculate. <laughs> I, there's probably nothing going to be posted until I leave. Which is crazy. I'm going to have like... a. a, a I plan to come for like a week, maybe a week and a half, pushing it for two weeks. But like, the amount of content when I come there is going to be ridiculous. I'm probably get to do some live reactions too with some artists as well. Like if they drop in music, I get to react next to them to their own stuff. And if it's trash, I'm going to tell them today. <laughs> like it's not just for camera. I'm going to tell you right there. Anyway, tell all of you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. Y'all.